Hi, this is Cheryl with Arthritis Life, and today I'm talking about how to choose a travel coffee container when you have arthritis. So, the things that I like to think about are the following three things. First, how heavy is the container even without coffee in it? Because it's only going to get heavier once you put liquid in it. The heavier the container, the harder it is to carry for most people with arthritis because it puts more strain on your joints. The second thing to think about is how do you open or close this and is that easy to do or hard to do with my joints? So for example, you can have a sliding opener or a snap opener and some people do better with one or the other. The third is how do you clean it? Do I want to clean it that way? Am I going to clean it that way or not? So those are the three things. The first thing is um, how heavy is the container? A lot of these like aluminum ones like this handy Jingle Bell Run for Arthritis one that I won um, are a little bit lighter weight. That's why these are the ones that I actually have at my home. Um, the lightest weight one though that I've encountered, and this is the one I end up using the most for coffee or tea, um, is the Keep Cup. If you haven't heard of that, it's extremely light. The other thing to remember is if you do have to use a heavy travel coffee mug for whatever reason, you can um, mitigate the effects of the weight by simply just pouring half of the co coffee into it at a time um, if, if you're able to do that. That would help reduce the amount of weight. Um, the second thing I think the most important thing for me as someone with you know chronic hand pain and arthritis is how do you open or close it? So the two main kinds of closures that I've ever seen on coffee mugs are the ones where you slide like this, you slide it open, slide close. Either you can have the big lid like the one from Starbucks here or you can have a small sliding opener or you can have a snap. So you snap, I call this a snap. You snap, open, or closed. This one takes quite a bit of force to close. This is also snap, open, snap, closed. And um, this one is a modified snap. It really doesn't require hardly any force to close and open. That's another reason I really like it. Um, so you think about how do you open or close the part that you're actually drinking out of, um, the little, you know, the, the little hole and you how do you cover it up? How do you snap it? Do you slide? The second thing to think about is how do you open or close the top? So um, usually it's, it's a twist motion. So we have that twist motion is the same on all of these. But if you try out different ones, you'll find that some of them are more resistive than others. So it might be the ones that require more um, force are again going to cause more strain to your joints so you might want to avoid those the other the other thing to consider in terms of opening and closing is um how wide the container is so that the travel coffee container is so for example this one's pretty wide um, and this one's more narrow um, a lot of times people find that wide grip items are easier with arthritis um, but it, it just depends on your specific area of inflammation How, are, how do you clean this coffee container? Um, you know, some, some of these are dishwasher safe and some aren't. For example, this one is. Again, I'm definitely a path of least resistance person sometimes. I like to be able to, to put things in the dishwasher. And it, not only is it um, more efficient, but it also requires less force. So this one is hand wash only, which means that every single time I'm done with it, I'm going to have to, you know, get down in there and wash. And that's scrubbing and washing can um, add more strain to your joints than simply putting something in the dishwasher. One of my general principles of, of life hacks or just um, strategies for you know, maneuvering through the world with arthritis is think about can I change the stuff I'm using or can I change how I'm interacting with the stuff? So you might have a lot of options if you're shopping for a travel coffee mug and in which case you have a lot of options to change the stuff. You can choose one versus the other. However, a lot of times in our lives we don't maybe have a choice on which item to use, but we can always choose to change how we interact with the object in some way. Um, for example, I can, I can open this with just one finger. I could try to really pull and push down. 
that is really hard on my joints. I could also spread the force out between multiple joints by gripping it with three fingers. That's gonna be easier on each individual joint. Does that make sense? Um, hopefully it does. I can't hear you because I'm just talking to myself right now. Um, so again, you know, it's, it's, it's easy to say, oh, if I just buy the right one, I'll never, I'll never have any joint pain or strain, but we still always have a choice in how we interact with it. Um, this one, again, this one's a little bit hard to do kind of wrong, but if I did kind of force it down like that, that's gonna be more painful, ouch, to my joints, than if I kind of um, interact with it in a little bit more of a delicate way. So you wanna think of the properties of the objects that you're using, but also the quality with which you're interacting with the objects. So at the most basic level, those are the three things I think about when I'm choosing a um, coffee container or a travel hot beverage container. So I'd love to hear your guys' ideas and comments um, in the comment section. And again, this has been Cheryl with Arthritis Life with today's life hack. A, um, a coffee slash tea slash travel, um, travel warm, 